Hello everybody, my name is Reda Hamdi and welcome back to this Maya XGen tips and tricks tutorials. In this tutorial I'm gonna be talking about this back bold hairstyle. When you're gonna do it in Maya, you're gonna notice something when you render it out as it's cutting out from the head, it doesn't fade from the head to the hair, like the root is too thick. So you're having two ways to fix this problem. The first one, very straightforward, is to get your shader get a ramp map from white to black from the root to tip and you're gonna plug it down to the transparency but this way will take a long way to render it out since you are using transparency it will take a lot of time to render it out xgen is a powerful plugin which is having an a different way like to fix it and the render time would be just normal without getting any extra time so you're gonna go to the xgen parameter tab after, under the width you're gonna find width ramp this one you can adjust the root and the tip separately like let me just update preview automatically so this one is very powerful in xgen like you can adjust the width just in a certain places of the hair so you can take down the tip you can make some noise with it let's say from the middle we pull it down as well if you want to get some variation but our problem is in the root so you can let me just reset things up so you can take the root thing and take it down let's say 0.3 so now you will be having a thinner hair root and it will go along on the normal weight so if you are trying to render this out you're gonna be seeing the difference Here you got another problem. While using Redshift, sometimes it may say to you like fail to allocate the necessary me GPU memory. So you have this extra tip to render with Redshift. Turn off the textures and then hide the preview. Don't let any hair in your viewport and then retry it. Now you're gonna see the difference it will make. As you can see now, it's fading really smoothly into the head whenever you are trying to do this kind of hairstyle always always remember to adjust the width of the root it will give you more natural look to your hairstyle as you can see the difference and it didn't take any extra time to render it out just the same <laughs> 